The thickness modifier is 1 when the image height is 480 pixels. If the image height is 960 pixels, the multiplier is 2. Silhouette is calculated from first order surface differential. And by the way, zero order surface differential is normal. To get silhouette, the KR derivative epsilon must be zero. It can be found in the view map advanced options. Caution. Doing this on an extremely heavy mesh could melt your CPU. Just kidding. Well, maybe. It was a fusion merging like Goku and Vegeta, which become Vegito when fighting Majin Buu, and become Gogeta when they were a Super Saiyan 4. This looks like a normal chopping board, but it's not. With the magic of freestyle, we'll unveil secret markings. See? Magic. Superman would be so proud of us, we've achieved the same vision as he has. A solution there must be. So let's create a new line set and check all the same checks or we can do it faster by clicking this happy little button and copy our original line set to our new one. As always, there is more than one way to UV unwrap a cat mesh. Uh, yeah. So I will show you three in this case. Splitting. Now this part looks a little scary. It has so many options. Okay, by default, the cap is butt. Nice, isn't it? You could make your own Tron world with this alone. It's not documented in the Blender Wiki nor in Wikipedia. Panic mode, panic mode, let's go to the code. Yes, the Blender code. There are two places where the equations, or rather algorithms, reside. Location one is here, and location two is here. If you're worried about it, ask yourself, when was the last time you've drawn with a pencil and got absolutely perfect line thicknesses? I can assure you that nearly all artists will say the perfect line exists only in vector line art. But we're not doing vector line art, so why worry? Just let it go. Ta-da! It's like Freestyle says, duh, faces here. No edge, sir. Skip the line drawing. Basically, the roof's lines are running into a blob of color. And guess what? You're not just going to be pros, but masters in the art of line drawing. And who knew that line drawing could be so hardcore? I say now, epically, welcome to the cult of freestyle. Use a small value for length and you'll make fluffy lines. Defining it alone is hard, so we need to compare. In TK's own words, the difference is in the way how the displacement is added. In the spatial noise geometry modifier, the displacement direction at each stroke vertex is perpendicular to the tangent of the curve at the vertex. In the Perlin noise geometry modifiers, the displacement direction is uniform and given by the angle parameter. Unlike color, alpha, and thickness modifiers, none of the line style geometry modifiers have an influence slider, which means it works just like object modifiers, stacked from top to bottom. Oh, one more thing. Let's do something fun. Let's make some balls bounce. So let me tell you a little secret. In order to do great edge rendering styles, you should reverse the order of everything that I've already taught you. The file name is venetianview.blend. When you open it, you're gonna say, what?